don't dissolve kids. Don't do that when your lipstick is still wet. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Alice. Welcome back to my channel. And welcome to a good old fashioned metal makeup tutorial, honey. Lately, I've been doing these with my sister Jenny because we're both into metal and the more the merrier, double the pleasure, double the fun. But um, I'm actually, I'm going to a concert tonight. Jenny's feeling sick, so she can't go. But I figured it'd be a good opportunity to uh, kill two birds with one stone, film, and get ready. And uh, I'm going to go see Skeleton Witch. So why not uh, do a makeup look inspired by this badass shirt? I think it's absolutely gorgeous. This is from the Beyond the Permafrost album. So it's an older album. But anyway, it's, it's really cool. And I'm going to do a makeup look inspired by it. Kind of like using these colors. So let's do that. Also, I think what would be really fun is to, once I'm finished with the makeup, let's see if it'll survive the concert. I want to see if this full face of glam that I'm going to do is going to survive me raging and getting sloppy and having a great time. So, uh, without further ado, let's just jump right the fuck into it. All right, we're zoomed in, we're good to go. I'm gonna begin with my eyes because I feel like this look is gonna have a shit load of fallout because I'm gonna be doing so many colors, like so many things. So many things. Mom, we've got mostly this blue color, some black, some yellowy colors. This skull color here, I'm gonna keep like referencing the shirt. This skull color kind of um, matches this pukey yellowy green color right here. So that's what I'm gonna pop in my crease. Uh, this particular color is called Courtney by Devina Cosmetics. Use code Alice to save money. This is my new favorite eyeshadow brand. All right, so in order to make it a little bit more yellow, I'm adding this color Marigold from the Profusion Spectrum palette. All right, guys, so as you can see, I already, uh, I, I did one, I finished this eye here off camera just because there's so many things going on in this shirt and I just really wanted to figure out what the fuck I'm doing. So this is what we're going for for this really amazing dark blue outer V situation that we've got here. I like to use liquid lipsticks as eyeshadows when I want a really like powerful pigmented and also like a sticky base. We're using Jet Set Liquid Suede Lipstick by NYX Cosmetics. A little bit goes a long way so don't get too crazy. And let's just pop that on the outer corner there and I'm using a pretty small fluffy brush to stipple it and be careful because um, like I said a little bit goes a really long way let it kind of dry and just be really like feather light strokes with your brush this is the shape we're going for it kind of like an angle and don't worry if it doesn't look perfect we are going to pop a powder on top this here is Hydra by Devina and I'm just patting that on top of the dark blue and letting it kind of inch its way over onto the middle of the lid. I'm gonna cut the crease a little bit towards the inner corner and I'm gonna use ColourPop No Filter Concealer, the lightest one, Fair 00. zero. And then we are going to be using probably the most beautiful magical eyeshadow I've ever seen in my entire life. This is another single from Devina and it's called Nerds. Like the candy I would assume. So it is basically the most beautiful light blue with a gold with gold reflex in it. And the sun is coming through my window and it's ruining everything. Not today, see. Anyway, we're gonna take this amazing color here on a teensy tiny brush Pritz it with a little bit of setting spray it's not really necessary for the pigment but more so just so it like sticks onto the lid and doesn't flutter away anywhere next we are going to do some winged liner honey a big ass wing as usual I 
I enjoy using the pen to draw the initial shape and then I like to perfect with a liquid eyeliner. This is LA Colors liquid eyeliner. Alright, and then the final step, I'm going to use Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner in the shade Pyro. And I'm just going to generously apply that onto the inner corner. As well as kind of spreading it around onto the green. Either good for now, let's move on to face have some new things that I'm excited about trying out. So here we have the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I love the packaging. It just says apply a thin layer on top of skin before makeup. Wow, it definitely feels like it's gonna grip anything that I put on my face right now. It is so sticky. Next up, let's try out the Milk Blur Liquid Foundation. I've already tried this foundation actually uh, once before well not once I've done a video on it I had the lighter shade porcelain and I'm not gonna lie I thought it looked good but um uh, once I post that video everybody's like girl no it's too light for you and I mean I get it maybe it was a little light but so I decided to go with uh, a slightly darker shade this one is ivory I'm gonna do a little bit of ivory and a little bit of porcelain All right, so now that the hardest part, which was the eyeshadow, is done, I can actually use my brain and, and talk. So I'm getting I'm getting ready pretty early because anytime I have something to do and I try to film, I'm always like, oh, I'm gonna film while I get get ready. It's gonna be great. But anytime I do that, I'm always like running super late. <laughs> I never give myself enough time. Now I'm, I am kind of actually running late a little bit. But I mean, I already have what I'm going to wear on, so that's cool. I really like just popping on a band shirt when I go to concerts nowadays just because I'm so lazy. And I, you know, you're going to be there for like a long time. And usually it's hot. And I would just rather be comfortable rather than getting all dolled up in like cute, skimpy, like cut up band shirt. Or like this is what I used to do. Looking cute is fun and all, but I don't want to have to wear that forever. Second of all, I'm going to look like a piece of meat for everybody else there. The, you know, majority of people at metal shows are guys. And I just would rather, like, have fun and be comfortable than just look like a walking cat called bait. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Time for a little concealer next. I've got the Milk Porcelain Concealer. I also, for concerts, I usually like to have my hair just all natch, you know. I, I'm not gonna, but I'm not gonna do like a cute hairstyle or anything like that because chances are I'm gonna be rocking out and my hair is gonna get messed up anyway. Oh, and then comfy shoes. I always just wear combat boots. I have a couple pairs of combat boots that are like totally flat, and then like some with like a cute little heel. Probably just gonna wear the totally flat ones today though. I'm like not here to like I'm I'm not single. If I was there to maybe meet somebody, I'd probably put a little bit more effort into my appearance. I feel like a metal show but it's probably a great place to meet. Guys, ladies, if anybody needs any suggestions, that's where me and my boyfriend met at the Monomar show ten years ago. But I've already uh I already caught one, so I don't need to try that hard anymore. Ooh, and then Milk also sent me Lip and Cheek Stick. How cute is that? This is in the shade Rally, and oh my god, I absolutely love their bronzer sticks. You guys know I do because I use it in literally every single video. I don't know why I wanted to smell it. I think it's because it looks really yummy and I want to eat it. Really, really subtle little hint of color and it's not removing the makeup underneath. How freaking cute is that? I love this. Maybe I'll try getting a little bit more on the blender. 
You guys probably aren't going to be able to see it super well on camera. Who knows? But it's really cute in real life. Very subtle. It's a nice little base for uh, the powder blush that I'll do a little bit later. More milk stuff. I get to try their translucent powder. Oh, fake out. I almost totally forgot. Contour, duh. This is the matte bronzer stick in Blaze. Might as well just be doing a full face and milk makeup at this point. It might look like a lot of contour right now, but everything's going to come together. Don't you worry. Let's test out the powder. I think what I want to do is just lightly dust it because I'm worried about baking. Uh, I know that the milk foundation and concealer can be kind of dry, so... Am I... I'm not getting... Am I getting anything? Uh, I'm, I'm a little confused. My other powder that I have with this mesh thing, it's very easy to get the powder to come out. This one, I feel like the powder's not coming out super easily. Maybe it's just so finely milled that uh, I'm not seeing it. It's too, too fine for the human eye to even see. I like no color powder, especially for my under eyes, because I just feel like it, it brightens. Ooh, that feels dry. You know, I said I wasn't going to bake, but I'm going to. <laughs> because I'm going to be sweating tonight. I'm, if I remember correctly, this venue never has AC. Why do venues never have AC? I have the clear brow gel. The Kush clear brow gel. <laughs> Tiniest little wand I've ever seen in my entire life. Let's brush these hairs up first before I fill them in. I think that's it, you guys. That's as good as they're gonna get. I'm not gonna keep going. I'm gonna finish up these mother freaking eyes. I got some Laura Mercier stuff as well. This is the Caviar Stick Eye Color in the color Smoke. You guys have to see how this looks when I roll it out. <laughs> Are you dying? I'm, I'm dying. If, you're not, if you don't laugh at that, then I don't know what to tell you, people. Okay? It looks like a dick. Anyway, thanks, Laura Mercier, for sending this to me. Uh, I already, I used, I tried it out once, and it's freaking amazing. We're going to put it down here on the lower lash line, honey. I mean, when I first saw, like, oh, eyeshadow stick... One of my five, but it's like this beautiful, soft, buttery smokiness. It was just absolutely perfect for darkening up the, the lower lash line. And the color is a very flattering, like, deep espresso color. It's not too cool toned. Y you would think like, oh, it's not black, lame. But actually, sometimes you don't want to have a stark black because it's usually blue based and once you blend that out it ends up looking like blue or green this is just flawless like look at that you could stop here but i'm obviously not going to i'm gonna keep adding more i want to get a little bit of that pukey color right in my eye bags and then i just want a smidge of that blue that we've got up top I want that to be here under the, the liner as well, just to kind of tie everything together. There is still a decent amount of pigment left on the brush, so I don't need to dip in too much. Oh yeah, this brush that I've been using the whole time, Sigma E36. Ooh, I am having a fun idea. I'm grabbing the Night King from the Urban Decay Game of Thrones collection. I'm popping that in my waterline. 
I'm going to use a waterproof mascara today because I do not want to risk sweating and having my mascara melt down my face. So this is the Monsieur Big by Lancome. Alright guys, so I popped on lashes because I'm running late. I'm going to do blush right now. This is Laura Mercier blush in the color Chai, which is absolutely freaking adorable. Never tried any Laura Mercier blush before. Yeah, this is literally exactly what I wanted because the eyes are so crazy. I feel like a powerful blush might make me look like, like a child did my makeup. It's not going to stop me from applying too much. Mm, okay, one a little, one a little haywire. Love this packaging though. Oh my gosh, it's so satisfying. It's magnetic. Highlight, we need highlight, oh my gosh. So this is a loose eyeshadow by Wet n Wild and it is called You're My Boo. I, I'm obsessed with these Wet n Wild loose pigments. It looks like it's going to be too much, but then it's the perfect amount. Once you blend, look at this shit. Are you watching? Let's see if I can get a teensy bit of blue. This is Wet n Wild Glow Watcher. You guys remember when Wet n Wild came out with a Fire and Ice Dragon collection way before uh, Urban Decay? Remember that? I look radioactive. I need to stop. Gonna do some setting spray, all nighter, of course. Can't go to a concert without all nighter all over my face. For my lip, I am using NYX Liquid Suede in Sandstorm, which is an absolutely beautiful nude. Um, tried to get something that would go with the shirt. I didn't want to do a blue lip or anything crazy since I'm going out in public. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. How did I do with the color story that I was aiming for? Did I do the shirt justice? I tried. Anyway, I'm running late. I need to start pre-gaming <laughs> and put on pants. So I think I'm going to be taking you guys with me and we're going to do a little vlog roo and see how my makeup holds up, see how all these products hold up against the harsh, brutal world. <laughs> Let's go. So here we have the two options that I was mentioning before. Comfy. Cute. Comfy and still kind of cute, but less comfy. So, put those ones back. Yeah, here we go. Just gonna pop on a little perf. This is the Jade Roller from Wet n Wild, the Crystal Cavern collection. I love this stuff so much. And it matches. <laughs> okay, here's okay. our outfit, you guys. Oh, I can't do that that far. <laughs> Ow. I hurt myself. <laughs> the end of the night I am <laughs> hearing a ringing in my ears other than that everything is very muffled and um, <gasps> I'm tired as fuck wow it is 121 I'm ready to go to bed uh, the show was pretty fun uh, got burritos on the way home that was the highlight of the evening I also got nice and buzzed so good for me other than that though i think my makeup looks freaking bomb the eyeshadow looks as flawless as it did when i left foundation and everything still looking pretty darn good other than just kind of like settling into my wrinkles a little bit my pores you know uh lip lipstick got pretty dry and wore away after a while but other than that everything is freaking looking flawless 
I feel like this makeup survived the concert. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Leave me comments. I love hearing from you and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.